so intertrochanteric fractures are one of the most common fracture which you will encounter in your orthopedic trauma practice and some of the fractures are really difficult to reduce and dr shiv shankar is known for his uh, technique in reducing these fractures so we will discuss his technique but uh, there were a few shortcomings which i could find in my practice that i could not reduce it with dr shiv shankar's technique so i have discovered a new technique we will which we will discuss in this video so let's start with this fracture you can see that the fracture is very comminuted Here you can see the lateral view and the displacement in this fracture so this is the traction view on the traction table ap view and this is the lateral here you can see that gt is going somewhere neck is going somewhere so this is the final picture so well reduction of the fracture here is another fracture intertrochanteric subtrochanteric type AP view doesn't look so good. In lateral view too, there is too much anterior displacement of the proximal fragment. And this is the final picture. You can hardly see the fracture. So this is an another case. AP view on traction table. And this is how it looks in the lateral view. And this is the final picture. Here just you can see the hairline fracture in the AP view and in the lateral view you cannot even see the hairline. So this is what the traditional technique by Dr. Shiv Shankar, anterior percutaneous reduction with the pointed uh, K wire or a steam and pin or a clamp. So there are basically three, three reasons for this technique to not work every time. First is that the tip of the steam and pin slips away. Second is that it is very difficult to maintain that constant downward pressure. Third is that sometimes it's not able to even reduce it fully with that downward pressure. I could find this in the ear reduction techniques, pushing the neck downwards with the homen through a literal small incision. And most of the techniques using the homen were the elevating type elevation of the depressed fragment here again a bonic hook is inserted into the fracture and the fracture will be elevated so we will discuss my technique now so this is the fracture uh, we will first uh, make a entry point where to give the incision anterior hip incision for inserting our artery clamp here this is how we insert the artery into the fracture then turn it 180 degree then lift the hip thigh up with one hand and then depress our artery clamp, artery clamp like this here you will see that the fracture is reducing and then again press and voila the fracture is perfectly reduced here so this is the technique uh, i have named it dhs maneuver so dhs you can remember it by dynamic hip screw or it also it is also abbreviation of my name dr hakam singh so whatever you like you can remember it by that and uh, i have actually create, created a, an algorithm for reducing the intertrochanteric fracture so that it is very easy for you to do these cases uh, nowadays i hardly even see the x-rays and i hardly even reduce the fracture before going into the surgery i just clean drip the patient and then see the uh, cm shot in the ot and then proceed with the reduction and the and then with the entry so stay tuned for the next video i will and i will show the whole algorithm how to reduce these fractures and fix these fractures uh, and i hope you like the video kindly like subscribe and share and you can make this technique viral by sharing it more and more and most of you are seeing the videos but you are not liking it so i request you to kindly like it if you it's just a tap of your finger and let's see you in next video thank you